Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we're looking at the brand new tool, uh, Ravel 172nd F15E. So as you can see on the box, stunning box art, uh, one's down on here. So we've got the Strike Eagle 72nd. Obviously this particular kit, the only other option you've got I suppose is the Great War Hobbies one. Um, but I think that's a bit of a different animal to this one, but it'd be nice to see what we've got, all right? So you can see 27 centimeters long, so although it's 70 second scale, it is quite a large aircraft, okay? Kit number for this one is 03841. Quick run round on the box. Not much happening there, the usual bits on there, and I'll see it on there, because it's all on the back, as you can see. So we've got some CAD shots down in here of it, so it's not really giving much away, so we're gonna to have to get down into the actual uh, plastic to have a look. Usual thing, still sealed, not been opened. So we can just cut our way in here, and then slide out of our contents. All right, so usual way of doing it, and you see the nose sticking right the way through. So we've got a couple of little separate bags, so we've got the first one just down in there. We've got a second one doing everything weapons-wise. Bottoms of the fuselage and things. Seems to have quite a lot of parts down in there, which is quite nice. We've got the clear parts, which is separate bagged as well, which is a nice touch. And then hopefully in here we will have the speckles. So we've got our usual blurb sheet. And we've got some very nice decals, which we're having a look at, at the moment. So starting off with, as always, we'll go through the old instructions. Uh, usual thing about how to build a model and then we've got the color call outs which unfortunately are their usual way of uh, making up mixes and that but that's basically it. it's just going to be gunship gray i think on the majority of the outside of it uh, but because it's in special markings it might have some other areas so we'll have to check into that one all right so running right the way through we've got the sprue layouts for a b uh, and then obviously D. We've got some blanked out areas, which is actually, it does fill me with a little bit of optimism that we might see other versions of this coming out as well. So uh, that should be quite nice if we do, all right? Again, looking down on here gives you a rough idea of the sprue layout and your numbering down there as well. Nice to see full color instructions, uh, which is obviously gonna help you out of your painting, as well as obviously keeping a track of parts and things like that. So we've got the seats being fitted down into this one, sort of four part uh, seats as those go down in there. Two tubs and they're separate as well, which then leads me to believe that maybe we will see a the normal single seat C version come along at some part as well. Then obviously we've got the control sticks being fitted down into this one and then the seats. We've got instrument panel, instrument combing, heads up display being fitted down in there. And we've got decals making up the actual uh, details on the instrument panels themselves. Same with the rear part and the rear combing going over for that and then obviously the sticks being fitted down in and again opening up a couple of little holes down in there for sort of pitots I presume coming out of the sides and then forward fuselage being put together down in there nice touch we've got full length air intakes as well going right the way down to the first stage uh, of the compressor blades so that's actually really nice on a seven second scale kit interesting never seen this way of doing it before so it looks like we've got these outer tabs are going to fit down onto the underside of the wings which again, I haven't seen anything like that before, so that's new. And again, an interesting way they've done the front end uh, because you've got the rear part of the actual uh, cockpit or the fuselage section meeting the front down for where the wheel wells are. So again, be interesting to see how that fits in there. It looks quite complex. There's plenty of holes to open up as well. So again, we're being led to believe that there's probably the C version of this will be around as well. All right, so opening up those and then top and bottom halves being fitted together. Again, this gap in between, it's quite interesting how they've done that. Uh, it's not your sort of normal fuselage build-up, so it, it's sort of like an external system being fitted to the top and to the bottom then. Obviously, you're building everything around those air intakes as they're going in. And then we've got the gun being fitted down on one side and obviously the combing onto the other. And we've got the actual intakes. And again, it looks like they're a solid sort of slide fit system into that. We'll look at those when we get into them. We've got those fuel tanks, uh, tanks or the fast packs being fitted down onto the outside, which cover up this big gap. So again, that's where I'm thinking perhaps we're not going to see a C version because we've got no fuselage halves for a C. But again, it may be something that they'll do differently if they are going to do it. So anyway, those being fitted on both sides. We've got those uh, exhausts being fitted down onto the tail areas as well. 
uh, and then the forward sections and the intakes are being fitted down onto this one as you can see down on here we've got the nose being fitted onto this one and then obviously we've got the actual afterburners uh, being fitted down and the cans being fitted onto the rear so that's those going on and we've got to fit those actuators so there'll be multiples of those 10 on each side being fitted into there and then we've got the verticals being fitted in pretty nice and then we've got the arrestor hook uh, down in here at the back and then the gear going together as you might imagine being fitted in you don't get gear doors uh, in the open position so not that you probably would because obviously no most of the time they're in the closed position anyway with just the little bits out nose being fitted on which is fine and then obviously more detail which is quite nice for the actual underside of the internal canopy being fitted onto this one again open or closed if you want to do it that one pitos and then obviously we've got the fit so again we've got the um, AAQ 13 and 14 system as well being fitted onto here we don't have a looks like a sniper pod or anything for the more modern fit it looks like it's the older fit for this one and then obviously we've got the actual uh, pallet stages that are going to go down and fit down the side we've got the main uh, ramp um, uh, support being fitted down there as well for the weapon bays going down there mark 82s gvus the usual things uh, side winders fuel tanks being fitted down and put on as well Again, okay, and then obviously fitting all of this in. So again, we've got down in here, center line tank, and then the lantern system being fitted down into there. Those packs being fitted down the sides, weapons fit as you want them, and then we've got the markings. So beautiful one by the old Seymour Johnson crew down in uh, 2017, 2018 for the 75th anniversary. So it's the only time we've probably seen anything but sort of, you know, gunship gray. So we've got these nice decals that are gonna go down in there. So I don't know how much has to be painted and how much is decals, we'll have to have a look at that. Uh, but nice that they are done that way. Again, it's talking about sparrows, which wouldn't be on this aircraft anyway. Uh, Sidewinders, GBUs and Mark 82s. And again, that really nice one on the top as well, just like that. So all in all, very nice. It looks a little bit uh, complicated. Okay, so looking at the decals, you can see, very nice as well. It's that usual thing. Um, I know it says uh, printed in Italy for Ravel, um, but we're pretty sure these are probably cartograph because they are really very, very nice indeed. Never a problem. Again, nice areas. And again, looking at it, I don't know how much you would actually need to do in the light grey because it looks like most of it is on here. These are obviously for the intakes uh, down the side. So I think you can probably just do it all as decals, which would be a nice touch. But anyway, there we go. Some very nice details down in there. Okay, so if we jump in to the first bag, we can get in. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a couple of screws in here. So we'll start with this one here. It looks quite heavy and thick, but actually, if you catch it straight away in the light, you can see gorgeous recessed details all the way through that are very sharp indeed very nice happy with those and then working our way around you can see you've got lots of detail down the side down here on the actual fuel tank which is molded into the pylon but the pylon's got lots of detail as well you know there's not a great deal going underneath obviously but what you have got is again for the pylon areas things like that so that's quite nice we've got the cockpit tub down in here which has got nice details on it right the way through for its scale there's a little bit of flash here and there around it so that's okay these are those intakes and again, it's got, uh, we've got a little bit of ejector pin down in there you might have to take care of. Just depends how the underside fits into that one. But uh, very nice indeed. Same on the other side, pretty much a mirror. And then down on here, again, we've got a little bit of flash just down around these areas as well, which you're going to have to take care of with the gun and then the other side as well. One of the ejector seat parts down in there, it looks like we've got the main gear. Uh, down in there as well. So under here, you've got that sort of area and it fits through and it looks like they're pretty recessed as well so that's quite nice so generally and again we've got these little lock uh, locating tabs nice big chunky ones so hopefully they'll fit quite nicely all the way in so that's pretty nice no problem with that okay looking at the underside as you can see got some nice details running all the way through there so just starting at the top four length intakes which are Full of ejector pins, unfortunately. They're not uh, far, you know, in there. But again, you're probably not going to see that far back, but a couple of swipes of the sanding stick should take care of that, no problem at all. We've got the verticals down in there. Very nice one piece as well. Gear doors looking pretty good. 
very nice detail for such a small little item but very nice indeed uh, we've got the looks like the nose wheel well again some nice detail down in there and then we've got the rear so we've got these raised reinforcement plates down the back which is what it should have and then right the way through and again for such a small kit it's got very nicely detailed wheel well bays on the sides here sides of the fuselage two-piece really big plug which hopefully means you won't get as long as it's done correctly uh, any sort of seam lines running down there so again really nice chunks of detail down in there again this is those sort of winglets that are flying off of there uh, for the actual intake and again there is a couple of uh, ejector bins but nice for the inlet doors some nice details down in there as well so that's pretty nice as you can see so generally very nice it's a complex shape and it's um, each manufacturer tends to tackle it differently but that looks quite nicely done so down in here we've got the weapons fit which obviously there'll be lots of and we've got sides and things like that so if we just jump in here first again so lots of stuff going down in here there is the odd little sink mark as well but to be honest it's not anything that stands out too bad so down in here we've got the sort of fast packs on the side for those fuel packs uh, fuel tanks and uh, obviously we've got the actual pallets being fitted down on there we've obviously got all the pylons and the various parts we've got the area so we've got i presume this is the rear cockpit just down in here with the rear section uh, which is very nicely done no problem at all and again really good details down in there it is the older fit if you like so it's got the older targeting and low altitude pods uh, as well so uh, you know if you wanted to do more of a modern one you might have to swap them out for something like sniper pods and things like that but generally quite nice as you can see some good details underneath very nice and then we got a match pair exactly the same just down in here so down in here we've got sidewinders uh, we've got gbu 12s uh, we've obviously got sparrows which probably you wouldn't use uh, we've got the wing tanks down in here we've got one piece can at the back here for the engine nozzle very nicely done and then obviously down in here we've got the parts for the rest of the engine nozzle so the engine's really going to be quite nicely detailed at that back end we've got these nice little bits down in here which are going to make the detail we've got the wheels they're not weight on wheels they're just normal ones but nicely done all the way through so yeah very nice okay last up we've got the clear parts Good. normal thing we've got a small center seam running just down the middle but it's very very fine the clear part itself for the scale is actually pretty darn clear so actually very nice seems to have a good shape with it and all the rest of it we've got a small piece down in here which is the hud glass and then obviously we've got the forward one which does not uh, it does have a small tiny 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 center seam but again they are very very fine i should imagine that should polish out no problem at all so yeah very nice a kit of two halves i thought originally you could probably make a c or we're going to see a c variant of this coming out but the way that it doesn't have the sort of normal fuselage halves and it's using the actual fast packs on the side for the fuselage halves tends to think it's not unless they've put another piece in which is going to be a plate fit into there but again an interesting one then again nice details full intakes as well which is normally you don't see on 70 second scale stuff so that's really nice to see gorgeous detail for the cockpit gorgeous detail for the engines at the back again it's a little bit of a thing like sparrow missiles i can't remember the last time or oh, i don't think f-15e's even use sparrows um so an interesting choice it would be better if that was an amram missile in there than obviously a sideboard and an amram yep you could do that and then you've got obviously a slightly older weapon fit running right the way through but generally though really nice there is the odd little sink mark in this one there is the odd little bit of flash but in general i think that's a really nice f-15e so there we go that's ravel's brand new 172nd f-15e strike eagle